Hi, I'm Laurie, and welcome to your 10 minute upper body mini band workout. What you're going to need today is a mini band, and you may want a mat for our very last uh, exercise we will be coming to your hands. Now, for your mini band resistance, it has got to be light. Make sure you can perform 12 to 15 face pulls with this band. If not, it's going to be too heavy. It doesn't mean you can't do the exercise, but your resistance is just too heavy, and it's probably meant more for lower body than upper body. So make sure your resistance band has some give to it. Now mine is still pretty challenging and you'll notice on my lateral raises that one, uh, it's gonna look more like a partial. So if that's the case, if we can only get half range of motion with the mini band we have, then that's what we're gonna do. Today's format is 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. During the recovery, do what you want, but make sure you're looking up in that corner for the upcoming exercise. We have 10 total exercises today, non-repeat, but if it's a unilateral movement, meaning one side, then we have to do it on the other side as well. All right, y'all, grab all your stuff and let's get going. Our first exercise of the day is a face pull. Now I prefer grabbing it with my thumbs, but you can also grab it with your fingers as well. Find what works for you. The focus is going to your upper back. So flare the elbows out to the side, pull that band apart, big squeeze in the upper back, and then we're gonna go really slow on the way in. Keep tension on the band the entire time. Don't let it do that. All right, so tempo is one count out, one count pause, three, two, one, as we bring it in. 45 seconds begins in three, two, and one, let's work. Last three, two, and one. Nice work. Now we have a lateral raise to a front raise. Keep tension on the band the entire time. If you have a watch on, make sure it's above or below your watch. Go out at a slight angle for the 45s, or excuse me, for the lateral raise, lead with the thumb. Let's go. And one, whoo, that burn. All right, shake it out. We're gonna do the other side. So like I was saying, go at a slight angle. So instead of directly out to the side to hit the medial part of the delt, just go to slight angle. All right, here we go. Anchor it with this hand. Let's work. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, now we have a Bradford press. So we're going back and over. And as we go back, press into the band. And as we go forward, press into the band. Neutral grip. This one burns. We go in three, two, and one.
two, and one. Whew. All right, next up we have a tricep push down, but we're gonna add a pulse. So anchor it with the left, excuse me, left hand, right shoulder, right hand is going down. So just one pulse at the bottom. We go in three, two, and one. and one. <laughs> All right, other side. So as you pulse, you are squeezing your tricep as you walk it out and pulse it. Just one pulse. Other side. Here we go. And three, two, and one. Elbow tight. Last three, two, and one. All right, now we have Y2Ws. Uh, this one is challenging. So we're just doing exactly what it sounds. We have a Y, we have a T, and we have a W. All right, it's gonna hit the rear delt, medial delts as well. well let's go. And one. All right, now we're gonna anchor that band with your left foot. Right hand is going to grab a hold of the band. We have one neutral grip row to one bicep curl. As you row, think about driving the elbow back towards the hip. Let's go. Nobody's like us. When people see us, they know. Uh, I feel so much for you. That I don't know what to do <gasps> Cause someone was before you And someone let me go It's time I must know for sure Cause someone was before you And someone let me go But I just need to be sure Some say love's not for the bitter ones Some say love will and one Woo all right y'all other side so for the row it's lat focus so i want you to think about driving it back not just up back towards that hip we go in three two and one
and one. Final exercise is a plank in and out. So not only are we gonna burn out the shoulders, we're working the core and we're working on anti-rotation of the hips. Start with your shoulders stacked over your elbows. Let's go. So it's right, left, right, left, then switch it. Left, right, left, right. Up, then we hold that plank in three, two, and one. 15 second hold. Hold it. Shoulders are stacked over the wrist. Feet are driving back. Quads are engaged. Glutes are engaged. Core is engaged. Head is reaching forward. Here's our last five, four, three, two, one, release those knees to the ground, send the hips back. Ooh, child's pose, nice work. Let's release that band. Good job. Oh, all right, frame the face, lift off until you're in a quadruped position. Keep the hips stacked over the knees, then start to walk the hands out and then release. Bring the hands to frame the face, push off, inhale, right arm up, and as you exhale, thread it underneath, release the right ear. You can stay right here. If you wanna take it one step farther, two options. You can release the left hand up, or you can bring the left hand towards the right hip and just work on opening up that left shoulder. Bring the left hand to frame the face. Push off with the left hand. You're back in that quadruple position. Other side, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread it underneath. Release the left ear. Two options. You can release it forward or bring it up, flip the palm, and just reach for something. If it's your shirt, your hip, whatever you can find, grab it or nothing. Just work on drawing that shoulder open. Nice work, bring the face with the right hand, push off a few cat cows, spinal mobility, inhale belly down, gaze up, exhale round the spine, once more, inhale belly down, gaze up, exhale round the spine, neutral tabletop position, curl the toes under, lift the knees, shoot the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Walk the hands in towards the feet. Grab opposite elbow, opposite hand, and give yourself a very gentle sway side to side. Yes is a nose with the head. Release any tension in the neck. Bring all swing to a stop. Reverse swan, dive it up. Grab a hold of the left wrist with the right hand. Cross the left foot over. Take a gentle side bend, up and over to the right. Inhale up, exhale, just take it to the other side. Inhale up to center, and as we exhale, look up. Draw the elbows slightly behind the rib cage to open up the chest and the front of the shoulders. One more time, inhale up, and exhale, open. Nice work today, that was quick. That burned, you rock. Let me know what you would like to see in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, uh, follow me on IG, Laurie Midkiff, and have a wonderful rest of the day, you rock.